Hi everyone, I uh, just wanted to uh, film a quick update of my tank. Um, I, I splurged today and, and bought another uh, red lizard catfish as you can see here. Uh, they've been hanging out together already since uh, since I put them uh, since I put the second one in the tank. So I'm really uh, yeah, really really happy about this purchase. Um, so the water is quite a bit cloudy because I also planted a bunch of new plants I just picked up. I'll uh, I'll show what they are here. So uh, <clears throat> there's a couple bulbs. So there's one here, and there's also another one there. I'm gonna post the uh, actual scientific names of these plants <clears throat> a bit later. And I've also put one here, right on the um, right on the, uh, the piece of driftwood. So it's tied with you know three uh, pieces of uh, cotton um, thread. So it has these uh, window love, I think uh, ends is what they're called. Anyway, I quite I quite like them. My wife really doesn't care for that, but uh, anyway, it's my tank. I'm the one taking care of it, so it's my prerogative. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see what else I've picked up. Uh, this is uh, bacopa, I think it's called. Um, it's got a nice, nice big bunch, and I got a. Um, I forget what the actual scientific name is, but it's a red special. Anyway, it's supposed to grow quite tall, so I've stuck it in the back here. Um, a really nice large, uh, uh, you know, specimen as well. I guess you can call it. Uh, not just a uh, one little tiny plant. Um, well, I guess that's about it for my purchases for today. Oh yes, hang on, there's more. I got a a uh, bristle nose pleco, a a nice black one. I know they're pretty common, but as as I'm now planted, I'm bound to um, have have a little bit more algae and I'm trying to be preventative. Oh oh, and of course the large val here, I've I've stuck it in the corner, so I've also picked that up today. This was quite cheap, um, two dollars and fifty cents for one nice uh, big val like this that's gonna grow and reproduce. So. Uh, oh wow! Look at my red line torpedo wires in here. They were all all six of them were schooling very nicely there just a moment ago, perfectly in the line. Um, and there is one more surprise in here, which I'm trying. And and really, from all the fish I have, I think this this fish should do quite well. Oh, and there it is. It's a uh, really nice. Um, I forget what it's called exactly. A uh, dragon tail or something along those lines. Uh, uh, beta, so um, yeah, so far so good. None of the fish have really. Some have come close to him, and no one's really seemed to pick on him or do anything. And yeah, like most betas, I've I've had beta before. <laughs> he likes to just look at his own reflection. He thinks it's another, another one of his kind. But yeah, look at the tail on this guy. It's just, uh, it's quite amazing. Um, yeah, there he is. Anyway. Um, yeah, look at that. So, yeah, so far so good. I'm just trying him out. I'm gonna keep a very close eye on him today and tomorrow. I'm home for the weekend, and I'm gonna put him in a bucket real quick and uh, bring him back to the shop if he doesn't work out. But I have a good feeling he's gonna it's gonna be quite fine here. I have no top dwellers. Like, I mean, none of my fish really care to hang out at the top. So I think he'll be fine. Just hang out at the top by himself, you know like most lonely betas so anyway yeah I guess the oh I'd have also installed a CO2 indicator I'm not quite sure how to read this thing yet um, as far as I can tell I already have a, a certain amount of CO2 in here I don't know it doesn't make sense because I'm not running CO2 yet but I'm gonna put in some Excel a bit later um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah. Um, yeah my angels are doing great and they're eating really well and yeah well that's already a pretty long update uh, um, yeah maybe just uh, one nice big uh, full tank shot here so one can see there you go um, yeah that's about it uh, thanks for watching